Hi, in this tutorial we want to apply deep reinforcement learning algorithm for algorithmic trading and uh, in the console you see uh, some of my trials that I have tested but before starting uh, let's go uh, quickly over the uh, basics and what reinforcement learning is reinforcement learning is um, when we have an agent and an environment an agent um, interact with the environment and see has uh, some observations and then takes actions based on the observation and after that gets uh, some reward based on the action so uh, simply we need an environment and an agent and the environment for us is the um, the trading environment an agent is an algorithm that can buy and sell for us Normally, uh, people use GIMM environment for uh, normal deep reinforcement learning uh, tasks, but because we want to, uh, to have an environment specific to uh, algorithmic trading, we need another library, which is uh, BTGIMM, and it's essentially a, a reinforcement learning wrapper for backtrader library. and. I have another video tutorial for backtesting uh, with uh, Backtrader, which is a very nice uh, lib library to backtest. Uh, so this is the library. Installation is easy, just a clone. Uh, here, then you change directory to the downloaded folder, and then you install everything. And when you install it, uh, the requirement libraries will be installed as well. Uh, the library itself has some examples. Uh, here is this guided A3C, uh, which is a synchronous actor critic model, and uh, it has uh, all the codes necessary. I, I couldn't get it to run uh, for myself, but uh, I'm not sure why not. Before continuing, I will uh, introduce some alternatives. Uh, one nice uh, post is this uh, the self-learning quant, and I have uh, tested it, uh, and it works because many of them doesn't work, the ones that you find on the internet. But this one has some explanations, and also uh, the, the whole code is accessible on GitHub. And then, there is another uh, alternative I found is TensorForce Bitcoin Trading Bot, uh, which is uh, based on TensorForce. TensorForce is a um, TensorFlow library for applied reinforcement learning, uh, which can be used for GIMM environments. And this one I, I, I just checked, and you need a GPU for hyper search. But what I wanted to do was something that is uh, very intuitive and can be understand uh, can be understandable uh, from the code. So what I've done is using this uh, tutorial in a medium post, and uh, I will go through this the code and apply this uh, algorithm to a BTG environment. Uh, one point about using BTG is that uh, if we have the environment, then we can apply different uh, algorithms to it and test which one performs better. So I have done two implementations. One is uh, with normal uh, artificial neural network networks, and one is LSTM neural networks. So I go through uh, the simple normal uh, simple neural networks first and what I have done or I have uh, I've taken most of the part from different places is uh, first of all we need the BTG environments and this part is uh, also from uh, this library it, it has a part in the examples that uh, it, it says how to render uh, a result so you can look it up and see if you want to render it somehow differently 
and then uh, from gym import spaces and then uh, cross layers for building the neural network uh, so this code is copied from uh, the post I showed you it, it uses DQN normally for time series uh, LSTM is used but uh, I will show that also uh, afterwards so there are some parameters one is uh, to defining the environment so uh, making the environment is very simple all we need to do is uh, if I could um, the environment here is uh, done very simply we pass the data file and then the shape the, the problem with the environment is that the shape is a, dict, uh, a dictionary uh, and for our models we will need to do some tricks to get it to work with the uh, models and then the skip frame is uh, how many bars we want to pass and not trade very frequently starting cash is how much uh, money we have at the beginning broker commission uh, fixed stake and then the, the rest is uh, re related to rendering the uh, graphs here so after we have done the environment we, this is the very simple environment if you look up the library there are several ways to uh, build the environment uh, but I what I found is that uh, this simple environment is what works with uh, algorithm we can find on the internet and test different algorithm to see how they work and uh, so we have the environment here this memory uh, which I have uh, disabled it I, I have uh, commented it out because I'm not sure if the memory like uh, replaying some of the uh, states which are just prices and sampling randomly helps and then gamma epsilon is uh, it's a number we define and based on that we define if it's going to take a random action or if it's going to uh, take the best uh, so far action and then uh, epsilon decay is how how we want to move it toward taking the best action at the end and these are the some parameters that uh, for themselves you need to read the whole book to know uh, and I mean it's a lot of research going on about these parameters then creating the model here model uh, sequential you instantiate uh, sequential then you have the state shape so this is what I was uh, saying about uh, the uh, shape this is the shape itself here environment dot observation uh, space dot shape and we get a dictionary but uh, for uh, passing it to the model we need to make it as a uh, tuple so what we do here is uh, dot items it gets the items then you make a list and from the list you call the indexes and then you get the state shape which is 30 by 4 and then you pass the uh, second index to uh, to input dimension and you have the activation relu then there are uh, three layers and then the output layer and this loss uh, calculation is based on a mean squared error and then there is an optimizer Adam op optimizer then um, well this this was a model and then uh, there are some and uh, usually defined functions in reinforcement learning and uh, and then that's how we make the actions and take the steps so here what it does is uh, based on the epsilon takes a random action or makes the best action so far and then uh, this remember and replay I have I'm not using them because I don't see the point and then um, then it's about the weights so uh, what we want to do is that it takes an action sees and evaluates the value of the current action and uh, compare it to, to desired uh, value 
and then updates the weights and basically uh, neural networks uh, are designed to uh, have these weights to, to change how they work. The math behind them uh, is complicated in general in reinforcement learning but neural networks uh, they use weights and then uh, saving the model and also uh, rendering the images that's uh, I will call these functions later and then the main function after that we, ha we had the class dqn agents here up there uh, here and then uh, we will go through the observations and in a loop so what I've done is to save a model here as you can see here and then using the same model over and over so I, I saw there, there was one model that was successful successful and I, I have chosen that to see it works good um, every time but it doesn't as we will see and then for current state and new state I have used the same trick to make it as a not a dictionary but a boolean and then uh, taking steps so this will call the act function that I explained and then uh, you based on the current state which is just some uh, prices like 30 prices 30 by 4 and then you make a step and you see the new state reward done and then you calculate the reward what I've done is to change the reward to make it uh, more negative so it doesn't stay not trading because at the beginning, if you see here uh, it, it has made more uh, trades and, and as we go further there are no trades it, it learns that it's better not to trade like here no trading at all and so this is basically uh, it is in the LSTM um, implementation the only part that is different is uh, the uh, model and I've used only one LSTM layer and, I, and made some changes to it uh, based on the the post self-learning quant I used the model from there and uh, actually the similar results so finally both of them what they end up doing is not trade um, I assume there, there should be some modification to to make it better or because the only thing this uh, the agent gets is raw prices and the environment only passes uh, the open high low close prices maybe some indicators would be nice so this is a very simple and basic uh, example of using deep reinforcement learning hope you have liked it and you can use it for yourself thank you